जी सलाम स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ग्रेड इलेवन हाउ यू दिस इज पाकिस्तान इंटरनेशनल स्कूल टाइफ आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन आर यूट्यूब चैनल हाउ यू डूइंग यू आर हियर विद मी इन इंग्लिश हब students if you remember last time we a few days ago we discussed about dreams so dreams are very important and you know play a fundamental role in our lives right so everybody is having different dreams in life and regardless of parentage forget about parentage or heritage or origin nothing matters once uh, you know like you make up your mind to follow your dreams so nobody can stop you and nobody and you can even you know like it you can pull your dreams from the sky even once you make up your mind and once you are determined right so if you work hard educate yourself and you strive for it so uh, the day is not far when you uh, dream when your dreams will come true right so uh, additionally what you need to do you need to simply to be kind to others once you are kind once you are having positive approach so you uh, your dreams may uh, these may come true inshallah and these will come true uh, inshallah soon okay ajeeb beta you may see today's theme is for uh, for my children for my sons and uh, this uh, this uh, this slide you may see on the slide that the boys are they going to touch the sky so it shows and have holding their own flag also right so it's it's it's, it's symbolically of course i have to try to display this uh, image here to just give you a feel that you can do wonders in life once you are determined and once you are dedicated so make up your mind and uh, keep working hard never quit yes this is virtual learning system session 2020 and this is lecture number 7 and the topic is it's about the same uh, it's interlinked with the previous one regarding communication skills uh, so the it's uh, today's uh, uh, topic is mm, that's about reported conversation and interlinked with the, a stressful job this is the second topic Uh, this is interlinked actually it's not a topic it's a subheading of the previous one it's me mr imran going to deliver today's lecture uh, yes uh, it's about major objectives students objectives are always uh, if i say that these are valuable we 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 cannot ignore them and rather we shouldn't ignore them actually and we obviously because uh, if uh, you set your goals and objectives before uh, reading any text or before attending any lectures you set your goals that at the end of this lecture if i'm going to do this so these uh, objectives will be these will be helpful inshallah so the first point to be able to check and search job advertisement as uh, previously it's been already discussed so i don't want to go into the depth of it again and the second one is to be able to write job application in real as even i if you remember i shared a sample with you as well so you may follow that sample and you can have even your own depends right it's up to your own choice the third one is to be able to find a job through original conversation this is about reporting and reported speech so right it will help you <clears throat> regard in in this regard to be able to exchange information regarding job affairs this is like when you'll be having dialogues i'll be i'll be reading those dialogues for you today and you will see after uh, reading those dialogues you'll come to know that how information has been shared and exchanged and in result uh, the, uh, the the guy going to have the the boy uh, or the one who was uh, suffering from he he's going to have a new job then so it helps a lot the next point is to be able to know about free arrangement and to gain the confidence through strong verbal and written communication skills yes students you need to make a few pre arrangements these are very important important and significantly or maybe if i just say that these uh, uh, these channel uh, these these arrangements actually channelize your entire setup right of uh, or, or it makes your mind right how to proceed and how to pursue that uh, any of the jobs right 
and to gain the confidence through strong verbal and written communication skills. And you'll see that right after reading those dialogues, you yourself will be feeling uh, uh, at the level that you can have, even you have improved your uh, verbal and com written communication skills. So it, it will inshallah help you. The last point is to be able to learn and understand direct and indirect speech. Students, uh, you know, like uh, whenever we are talking with someone, so uh, either way, like maybe we are discussing directly or if it's been discussed by, uh, by someone else, so maybe it's indirectly. So direct or indirect speeches, both are very important. And, you know, uh, these, uh, these are, I mean, these, this is obvious that once if you are discussing with someone, so that can be a reporting speech or reported speech. So at the end of this lecture, inshallah, you will be, you will, uh, you'll be able to differentiate and you'll be able to learn this as well. Yes, apparently the picture is, I mean, it's pretty clear. There is nothing, there is no ambiguity at all that the girl is under stress because she is a jobian and it shows like maybe she's lacking in, man in her managerial skills. That's why she's under pressure or maybe having some circumstantial pressures uh, so which are not in her control. So maybe she is in trouble or uh, so it shows that she is under stress. Likewise, go, uh, it goes uh, for this boy as well, that he's also uh, suffering from the same problem and he's having the same type of tensions or uh, uh, he's lacking behind in it, right? So back and forth, maybe they have some, uh, uh, some hurdles or some obstacles. So that's why they are not able to or not feeling themselves capable enough to handle those problems. This is what we were dis discussing before. It's about direct speech. So direct speech repeats or codes the exact words spoken. So directly, whatever when you are talking with someone. When we use direct speech in writing, we place the words spoken between the quotation, quotation marks. These are in, in, inverted commas, and there is no change in these words. For sure, there is no change because it's a direct uh, 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 report. It's, it's, been, it's been reporting, right? She says, what time will you be home? This is a direct. Uh, she says, comma, and then inverted commas start, and then afterwards, ending with a question mark, and invert, inverted commas are closed. Likewise, in the second one, there's a fly in my soup, and then cream cafe. So these, uh, it, these both sentences are showing us that uh, these, uh, these both are direct speeches. Indirect speech, indirect or reported. That was was that was actually reporting, and this one is reported speeches. So uh, uh, indirect or reported speeches usually used to talk about the past, right? So uh, another scenario is given. Tense the tense can easily be changed. You must have studied this a lot in your previous classes and there was an exercise i still remember in your in your previous classes you must have practiced those exercises regarding narration or regarding direct or indirect speeches right so it's the same so we normally change the tense of the words spoken inverted commas are not used right so she said i saw him so it's it's going to be changed now because it's a direct one you may see outside there's like she said, and in inverted commas, I saw him. It's a statement, right? And while changing it into the, uh, indirect speech, what you have to say, you will say that she said that she had seen him. It's been reported by another person, right? It's been shown that it's been reported by someone else. So she had seen him. So these both will be changed into past perfect tense. Yes, students. Now, uh, reported conversation. The, uh, there are two. You can see two males uh, standing up. It shows like this is. Uh, they are discussing something formally. I mean, they both are wearing suits and having uh, a bag, a formal uh, bag in their hand, or maybe a laptop in the in his hand. One of them is uh, uh, holding that, and over there it's written a stressful job. 
it gives an impression that they are not discussing something colloquial or maybe the 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 way they are standing up and the the way they are discussing their gestures and their body language is telling that this is about formal discussion and this is about reported conversation and the second part is it's about a stressful job yes bete i'm going to read this for you and uh, previously if you remember i told you i uh, enjoyed this part with my students when the two girls were in front of me so if i was discussing with them so it was an interesting part of uh, drill or like in, during class practice it was an interesting exercise but unfortunately you know because of the uh, pandemic it's not possible so we have to make it anyways right as it is 133 Yes, I'm going to start it. So be with me, right? It's the reported conversation. Oh my! I saw Asad today, Farah. Oh really? How is he doing? They are discussing the third person. So it is about. It is actually reported speech. What's this? This is reported speech. So, I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Omar, not too well. I'm afraid, Farah. Why is that? Omar, he told me he had been looking for work but hadn't found a job. This is how they are discussing about the third person, right? Farah, that surprises me. Was he fired or did he quit the last job? Omar, he told me his boss had treated him badly. He also said that he didn't, as he said, he didn't like his chances of. advancing in this company students you may see that the the way it started it's giving an impression that the boy the third person is not happy and they both are discussing about him and they're talking about him the way he's worried and what are the reasons why he's worried these were all uh, the, the the worries regarding uh, the job uh, the the boy's job and apparently it seems like uh, they are taking tension of their friend and they're taking it seriously right Okay, Farah, quitting doesn't sound like a wi very wise decision to me these days. Now she is giving her opinion, right? Her opinion is that she shouldn't, uh, he shouldn't quit. Umar, that's true, but he's been working hard at finding a new job. Farah, what's what what's he done? What he has he done? He said he had sent out his resumes to more than twenty companies. Unfortunately, he told me. that only two had called him for an interview this is uh, now they are sharing information as well one point was in the beginning they were uh, first they started discussion they started talking about him then they shared an information and the, 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 then they shared their own opinion and now once again they are sharing that information that what did he do already or what he has already done for his job for having new job right for a that stuff umar you can say that again however i gave him some advice and i hope it helps for a what did you suggest umar i suggested joining a networking group now they are different they are giving their own suggestions as well because they are actually worried they both are worried about the third one so they are trying to uh back and forth they are giving different suggestions to help him out right for a that's a great idea umar yes well he told me he would try a few groups this is uh, uh, he's sharing he's telling about him for a where did you where did you see him now she's asking about i said that where did you see him okay now I saw Umar. I saw him at the mall. He told me he was shopping for new suit. Now, he was in shock, by the way, because why he was in shock? He was. Uh, she was expecting. Uh, she wasn't expecting that. The reason, that reason, like she, he doesn't have a new job, and why he's gonna have new dresses? Why he's going to buy new dresses, right? So that's why she's saying here, Farah, what? No work in buying new clothes, Umar. No, no. he had he he said he wanted to make the best impression possible at his 
job interview this is uh, now he is trying to defend him or giving him uh, uh, just giving him uh, an impression that he is not going to buy for having some fun but for uh, on purpose he's doing it right but uh, oh that makes sense i mean she was kanya's friend okay beta so now the uh, i mean uh, the dialogue the conversation was so simple and straight there wasn't any confusion as they were discussing and reporting uh, it's been different opinions have been and different information has been simply reported right so now this is about question answers part and the section of uh, 6.1 and the first part is regarding recalling whatever you the text you have read it's regarding the uh, question answers are uh, questions has been asked regarding the same text why did asad leave his last job i'm just telling you i'm just giving you different clues and hints and afterwards you may have your own answers as well right or you can expand if it's required depends on the uh, questions demand Asad left his last job because he, his boss treated him badly. Moreover, he didn't like his chances of advancing in the company. This is the answer of the first question. And the second one is, what advice does Umar give to Asad to help him in his job hunt? Umar gives this piece of advice to Asad to help him in his job hunt. He advises him to join some of those networking groups of people who are also looking for work they help each other in discovering new opportunities as well okay the third question is why does asad want to i think i don't need to elaborate more because you know it will be time taking and we have to do and we have to cover up one more dialogue as well so i'm just going to uh, cover up or i'm just giving you different clues right you may write your own and you can extend it accordingly my point it all just slips away okay it's here uh huh why does asad want to buy a new suit for himself yes uh, he wants to buy a new suit for himself because he wants to make the best impression possible at his job interview okay the fourth one is what's farah's reaction when she hears that asad had left his job wow of course she it was she was in shock so when farah hears that asad has left his job she was surprised she is surprised right she says that quitting one's job doesn't uh, uh, doesn't sound a great wise or a wise decision to her these days she, she this is the this is how she is thinking right this is the way she is thinking and opinion uh, may differ it doesn't matter um, someone uh, someone have this opinion that someone can think this way that it's okay fine if he has left job no problem he can have, have another one but here she is she was surprised she was in shock and she was she wasn't convinced actually what does farah say when umar tells her that asad was buying a new suit when umar tells farah that asad is buying a new suit she expresses her surprise and remarks that that's strange that he has no work and he's going to be buying buying new clothes so this is about question answers and extent, extending and uh, interpreting uh, printing section is also there you may read and if you feel any problem and if you find any problem you may discuss it later right and you may ask me but i think it's contextually everything is mentioned all points are in detail same questions or maybe a little extended so you can Uh, uh, elaborate and you can write yourself this is uh, the same uh, part with, uh, i mean it's about uh, let me just give you a little homework here that dialogue you may just write a dialogue uh, based upon uh, you can have your own topics fine i'm i'm just giving you uh, uh, this liberty that you can have your own choice uh, or you can have your own selection of the topic you may select any topic any of your favorite topics and you write a dialogue and follow the same reported speech right the same pattern you'll be following yes beta hmm. the second is again you see it's a, it's a stressful job as uh, page number 136 so you must be now 
as we have already discussed, uh, uh, I have already shown you two images, uh, a boy and a girl, and uh, a girl as well, that how uh, under stress they were and how they were really in tension. So this is actually original conversation, right? This part of a piece of writing is known or can be called as original conversation. So let's start it. Farah, hello, Asad, how are you doing? Have you found a job? See, now directly she is talking with the guy, right? The one who left the job and who was worried about job. I said, oh, hello, Farah. Yes, I've been working for the last three months. Umar, Umar's suggestions about networking group really worked. Now I have a well-paid job. It shows even from after reading two sentences. Now you can have that impression or you after this expression of writing, you can feel the satisfaction or the contentment, right? That it shows that he is satisfied. Farah, that's great. Congratulations on your new job, Asad. Asad, thanks, Farah. To tell you the truth, I'm not so sure I like working. <laughs> Again, he's, he, he got stuck in, right? Farah, why do you say that? Last year, you wanted to get out of university. Then you got a job, which you quit. And now this, it shows the, uh, like maybe he's a little thankless or maybe he's uh, not satisfied. I mean, back and forth, he was trying. He he was uh, quitting jobs and having another one, and now once again, he is not. He seems not satisfied at all. Once again, I said, I know, I know, but that was last year. My previous job wasn't that stressful. Now, first he had a problem with the boss and that working environment and chances and opportunities, and now what he's talking about? He's talking about stress. But the boss, no, it's just work, work, and work. Now he is trying to, it means, seems like still he's plaintive, still he's having problems, still he's not satisfied, seems a little upset, and saying, now it's just work, work, and work. I work hard all day, every day. Moreover, what he talks, let's see. Farah, oh, come on, don't complain. Stop complaining. I mean, now she was even fed up the way she's saying here. It gives an impression that she's saying, stop complaining, please. She's, she's saying, don't complain. You are making a good salary now. Last year, you didn't make anything. I said, right, now I have money, a nice apartment and a car, but I don't have any time to enjoy it all. Now see the uh, students. What impression are we getting from? We simply can, uh, after reading uh, like these uh, these lines, what can we evaluate or what can we uh, conclude? That man can never be satisfied. We need to be thankful. Here it shows an impression or giving us a feel that he is still not satisfied. First he had a pro he had another problems. Now the, only the problems got changed, right? There are the problems are changed, but he still, he's not satisfied. Uh, dimensions are changed, but still he's not satisfied and he wants to quit or maybe not satisfied or not feeling contentment at all. But uh, it can't be all that bad. I said, no, of course it isn't, it isn't. I still have my weekends, but uh, so tell me, what do you miss about university? I said, I used to go to the parties. He was actually a party boy, right? So he was missing that part. So now he was, of course, he had to be responsible. He had to be efficient. He had to be responsible uh, and, uh, you know, like uh, more uh, uh, mature. He needs to give an impression that he's mature enough, that he, he, doesn't, he doesn't fall in that category where all other students are enjoying uh, previously, like his all other fellows or he, maybe even he himself was enjoying previously. But now he can't do so. Because he belongs to the any to to the to the to any specific company, so he is representing an organization. So he has to be responsible. I used to go to the parties. I stayed up late talking with friends. So he was a uh, I mean like uh, he was a friendly guy. So he wasn't that much satisfied uh, uh, in that work at at his workplace. 
but uh, you can go to parties now and you can stay up late but uh, is still trying to convince him that no problem if you want to do this all even now you can do but you need to uh, uh, motivate yourself uh, because once you are a part of any organization, you have to be responsible, right? Okay. Uh, so, but, the, uh, but then uh, I am tired at work. Of course, uh, once you are doing work. So, I mean, you, there, are, there are some liabilities, your responsibilities. You have to be there. You, have, you need to be dedicated. You need to be committed. Once you will not be, so you won't be able to work or serve there. I can't do that. I have I have to be serious about things. He's telling us that he has to be serious about his things, right? But uh, I think you are too serious about everything. I said, that's easy for you to say you are still at university. Why? He's saying like you, you still have that friendly environment. You still have no responsibilities. So if, if you are not actually you have not stepped in practical life so maybe you are talking this way but i am the one who is there so i have to be responsible so uh, i can't enjoy the way you are enjoying yes but for, uh, yes but i don't have a job i said would you like to change places with me this is how he's a uh, little bit sarcastically i must say he's saying this way but uh, oh come on i said it isn't all that bad i said hmm how's Umar? Now he's asking about Umar and a third person as they were discussing before. First, Umar and Farah were discussing, and now Asad and Farah. Farah, he's fine enjoying this job. He gets lots of free time. Asad, yeah, he's lucky. Give him my regards. Farah, I'll, I will. I have to rush now. Need to buy grocery. Bye bye. Okay, bye. All right. So students, you have observed each and everything, all impressions and expressions I have shared with you. Nothing is uh, complicated now. Uh, appropriately, everything, all, all sentences are clear enough. So I think I don't need to explain it anymore. It's uh, done to here. Okay, reported speech. Let me just read it for you. You can understand it easily. It's reported, how it's reported conversation, because it's again between Umar and Farah, right? First, that was about, uh, again, they are now discussing. First, they were discussing, then uh, just uh, Asad came in, and now Asad is back, and now Farah and Umar are again discussing. Farah, do you know whom I met today? Umar, no, who was it? Farah, Asad, I met Asad, he was found a, a job, a well-paid job, Umar, that, that's great, he must be very happy. I think, students, I don't need to explain it anymore. It's been discussed already, and this is simple, straight sentences. Uh, pretty clear, nothing to explain a lot. But I know on the contrary, Umar, what he's not happy with his uh, well paid job. But I know he said his job was very stressful, that he hardly found time to recreation. Of course, it wasn't, there wasn't, uh, he was a party boy and he couldn't uh, time for the, those parties now. Umar, oh, I see, Asad is the sort of person who likes to party. But I, yeah, I know he was also feeling nostalgic about university life. Of course, he was missing that university life. It was, uh, I mean, he was feeling free that time and there was nothing, there was no responsibility. Now he's at workplace, so he has to work hard and all that. Umar, ha ha ha, that's like I said, never content with anything. He has never been contented, contented with anything. He's never been satisfied whatever he's having, right? Or whatever he has where uh, where he was studying he wanted to work at that time when he was working when he was working he he wanted to work he, he was studying that time he wanted to work now he's working so he wants to go back to university what a man but uh, you know he asked me to change places with him what what his, his new job must be driving him crazy i think I should see him before he quits his new job. Now, they, it shows that they have a serious concern, right? So that's why they both are worried about him and they are trying to give him different suggestions and different pieces of advice that he should not quit again. But uh, yes, you must. Okay, now again, we have question answers regarding this as we discussed before. 
so this is the next part and this is about their uh, question answers part how long asad has been working in new job asad has been working in his new job for the last 3 months what does asad say second question what does asad say to fara about his new job does he like it asad says to fara that his new job is well paid job he draws a handsome salary he has many other facilities to avail to avail but it's stressful job he has to work work and only work okay the question number 3 it's here what's the difference between asad's previous job and his new job the difference between asad's previous job and the new job is this that the previous job wasn't so stressful but the boss had treated him badly and here and he didn't see his chances of advancing in this company in that company right and now but here what happened uh, the new job is a stressful job it is just work and work he works hardly all day every day okay the next question is why is asad complaining about his new job what does he miss asad complains about his new job because he has to work hard he doesn't have any time for enjoyment for going to parties and staying up late talking with friends right question number 5 what does asad have now as a result of his new job asad's new job is a well paid job as a result of new his new job he has money a nice apartment and a car question number 6 what does asad mean by would you like to change places with me means what does it uh, i mean uh, what impression are you getting from this one sentence uh, this question it's very simple right that he is missing his old days right he's uh, he's he's just recalling or recollecting his memories by uh, by would you like to change places with me in inverted commas this is the same statement right he means that Farah could work in his place, and he would be happy to become a university student in her place. That he is missing his old days, and he wants to rejoin university. Question number seven: Why does Umar say that he must meet Asad? Umar says that he must meet Asad because he, as a, he, as a, his true friend, he wants to advise him not to quit his job. It's very difficult to find a new job these days. all right so interpreting and extending questions are there you may see and uh, then writing and oral communication so uh, i mean these are uh, crystal clear there is no confusion questions are say, almost related to the topic or related to the content on in the context uh, the text is given so just you keep following that and you may uh, answer these all questions give it the last part is the exercise number uh, this uh, the last exercise is about language study change the following to indirect narration so students this exercise i have left for you you may just uh, uh, write it for me just uh, make it at a uh, direct speech and then afterwards indirect narration this because change this following to indirect narration this direct is given so indirect you have to make and then afterwards send it to me i'll check your homework and i'll be giving you the same comments accordingly comments or remarks yes please here we go our last slide for today's lecture it's about uh, about a thinker about the philosopher and about a great national poet uh the way he has said i think we need to follow his instructions what he's telling what he's uh, asking us to do he's saying that failure is not fatal until we surrender if once you are defeated so it doesn't matter it doesn't make any difference but if once you surrender so and once you just do your hands up that i am unable to do or maybe i'm not capable enough to uh, move forward so means now that is that's the moment when you are completely really failed right so don't do that and trying again is the key of glorious victory for sure if you if you want to have success in life so keep trying keep working hard and that's all students for today and stay home stay safe and stay connected 
Remember us all in prayers. God bless you. Love is. Take care.